in the old days, before we had the, the instrumentation technology we have to treat scoliosis, um, most scoliosis was actually treated with casts, even in adolescence. Uh, back before Dr. Harrington in the 1960s, uh, people were put in casts to try to correct their curves and then had surgery with the cast on and then were kept in casts while things tried, while they tried to get things to heal. So this idea of casting in, for scoliosis is nothing new. Um, and those casts were called eraser casts and they were based a lot on, uh, on three-point pressure on the curve. Um, and it worked fairly well in adolescence, though it doesn't, didn't work nearly as well as instrumentation do, does. Uh, and there were lots of problems with getting, getting the bone graft to take and things to heal. Casting has gotten very much repopularized for early onset scoliosis. And I think we all have to give credit to Min Meda uh, for that. Dr. Meda is a uh, orthopedic surgeon who's practiced in England, who's had a tremendous interest for a long time in early onset scoliosis, uh, and for a while was really a voice in the wilderness advocating this casting for the curves. But, uh, you know, now it's become very, very accepted as probably the first line of treatment for early onset scoliosis. The difference between the Meda cast and the old Risser cast is just kind of the way the correction is done. This, we, we view the Metacast, we talk about a gentle rotational correction uh, to try to straighten out the curve rather than the old three-point pushing as hard as you can. Um, and what we found with the Meta casting is that we really don't get chest wall issues uh, and the kids really seem to do very, very well with it. And I think it's, it's become a huge part of the armamentarium uh, for dealing with early onset scoliosis. We have uh, lots of arrows in our quiver. The uh, casting is one of them. Uh, growing rods where we, we actually put the rods in and then go back and lengthen them every uh, six months to a year uh, and don't do fusions but continue to grow the rods as the kids grow uh, are, are two of the things we use. Another thing we use is the Vector which is a vertical expandable titanium rib um, and that was developed by Dr. Bob Campbell down in San Antonio originally for kids uh, with congenital scoliosis and chest wall abnormalities, and those still are the kids we use it in the most. Again, I think one of the things about a place like ours is that we do not just do one or one thing or the other, that we have all of these things uh, in our treatment, treatment protocol so that we really can do what's best for each kid.